In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at Hyper-V failover using Hyper-V replicas in Super 2012. So we have two clusters, cluster A and cluster B. Cluster A is in site A, cluster B is the Hyper-V cluster in site B. And host nodes 1 and 2 in cluster A, host nodes 3 and 4 in cluster B. So I have a highly available virtual machine called Super 2K8. And if I right click on this, I will see the replication held between cluster A and cluster B. I will see that everything is good. So now we want to initiate a failover between the two clusters from cluster A onto cluster B. So here is the virtual machine that is running the replica that is running on my second site cluster B. So to begin, I'm going to, to simulate a failure in a primary site by shutting down the host in the primary site and stopping the cluster, cluster E. So I've stopped cluster E and if I try to connect or ping the virtual IP of that cluster in the first primary site, I will get no response. So this simulates a primary site failure of the primary Hyper-V cluster. What we're going to do now is to initiate a failover on this replica virtual machine. So I'm going to go to replication and select failover. And we have no snapshots for this, so we're going to select the latest recovery point and select failover. And when that is done, the virtual machine is automatically brought online. And when the machine is brought online, if you right click on the virtual machine, you will see under replication, uh, you can also cancel the failover. But I'm going to want to complete this failover process by the, using the command complete VM failover enter the name of the virtual machine so our virtual machine in the secondary site site B is good to go now in the event that site A comes back online we then need to reverse the replication so I'm going to bring online <coughs> bring back online cluster A Okay, so I've brought back online cluster E, getting replies, and going to reverse the replication now. Let's make sure we can connect to cluster E. So I'm going to stop the virtual machine that is running on cluster E. And then on the secondary site, I'm going to reverse the replication back to site E, cluster E. And I noticed that this is a particular problem when you have cluster field of our manager running on a second site where it's not able to connect to replica one on cluster E. And if I go next, the initial replication will fail, stating that Hyper-V is not in a state to accept replica. But when I notice to fix this error, I just have to perform the same process except I do this from site E, cluster manager in site E, not too sure what, what is causing that error. So I'm going to go back to site E and do the same from here instead. Reverse replication. And here we see the text, the information from 
the replica in site E. And operation should complete successfully. I'm going to want to select to use an existing virtual machine on the replica server as the initial copy. This will save time and bandwidth rather than having to select this option which will require sending information, sending the data of the VM to replicate across, this, across the one which we don't want. So the virtual machine is already existing in site E. So I'm going to use existing virtual machine. Let's go next and finish. And if I right click on the virtual machine, I can go to replication, view replication health. I see that the replication is in progress, but it's not going to take very long. So I can right click on the virtual machine on the second site, save your application health, and it's been replicated back to the primary site. And then we can revert everything to its previous situation by performing a planned failover back to the primary site. Let's first turn off this virtual machine. and everything will be as it was configured previously. So this ends our tutorial on Hyper-V replicas where we have failed over a virtual machine from one site to another site and then performed a failback.